Yeah, I wanted to make a little video. I don't know. Maybe I can do more of these differently. But I uh, wanted to make a little video real quick. Uh, you know, my belief is nutrition. You are what you eat. Uh, you're not, you don't get sick from the germs of the air. I think that what you put into your body will, you know, will c cause health or not health. I mean, there's other avenues too. But anyways, that's real quick. Uh, you know, I've been doing keto on and off the last couple of years. Uh, went over the road. Uh, last year, came back. November, did keto for like about eight months. Re last month or so, I've been off keto. I've uh, been doing, trying to do more paleo. Uh, but anyways, uh, real quick, one of the things that I've been uh, looking into is agave nectar. Uh, I find it interesting. I mean, number one, it doesn't, it does not raise your insulin. However, with that said, apparently it has more fructose in it, which, you know, I mean, can probably cause uh fatty liver if you're not careful you don't want to consume things that your liver can't really process too well uh you know my philosophy on it being on having done keto is you don't want to go overboard on these sugars if you're off keto doing paleo or whatever kind of diet you're doing uh, you know protein is okay of course if you have gout like i do you don't want to go overboard uh you know, uh, so I, anyways, but just want to put that out there. Agave nectar is, I guess, a suitable uh, sugar supplement or a, a substitute. But like I said, you don't want to go overboard with it, uh, like any other thing in life. Moderation is a key. Anyways, I guess that's the video. Bye.